two is for quiet. I love quiet. I wish it were quiet all the time. Peace, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry about how I look. I kind of look like, you know, a hot mess. But it doesn't matter what I look like today because that's not the point of this video at all. And I was homesick from work today, so uh, I kind of just look like this. But this is not the point of this video at all. And so we're just going to ignore how I look because who cares? This is a very important video that I want to put out there because this has really been weighing heavy on my spirit the last few days and last week, really. And I had heard about this um, encampment last year thanks to an artist that I follow called Rory, which I think I'm going to do a video or a blog post on Rory and how he he's an Atlanta artist. He's a folk singer slash hip hop artist. And I'm going to make a video and or a blog post or both about how he took the industry by storm and found out that it was trash and decided to leave and go on a more conscious path. I love that about him. He's always been conscious, even when he was in the industry, but he decided to leave the industry and now he's out in Atlanta doing a lot of amazing things with a lot of amazing people and putting out great, great music. So if you're not following up on Rory, like if you followed him back when he was more so in the industry and you haven't followed up on him recently, you should because his music's great and he's just doing his thing out there in Atlanta. So shout out to Rory. But the reason I brought him up was because I started hearing about this encampment last year because Rory started talking about it because he was going over there to sing and uh, do music over there for the campers over there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Stop Cop City um, encampment that is in Atlanta. And so why am I talking about this all of a sudden? It may seem like, you know, this isn't going on for a while and I have not been talking about it. And while that is true, yes, it has been going on for a long time. Really, this all started like after the protest in 2020 around the whole George Floyd situation and like everything that was happening around Black Lives Matter back then. A lot of things happened after that all like dissipated, right? And I just want to talk about that really fast because I think that it's really, really crazy that we have all of this energy in 2020 to care about black lives, to care about all of these things. And it feels like that was a very like candid moment in time where it felt like everybody was really getting it finally for the most part, right? But it just felt like it dwindled so fast. And it just feels like these movements are doing that. Like I'm not saying that there aren't people out here who are still doing these things and who really do care. And I'm not even talking about the people who have been doing this since forever, literally. Like there are people who have been doing this work out there in the streets forever this racial justice work environmental work like all the things right and so they've been doing this forever like they, they, it wasn't because 2020 and all these things like they've been doing that pre-2020 they've been doing that pre a lot of things right they've been doing that since forever because they care about their communities and they care about black people as a whole right and black liberation and so but it was just interesting to me because I was like, you know, 2020 happened and everybody was so on board to like care about black people and how the mistreatment of black people and people of color in general is happening in this country and all over the world and how we really need to care about people who are melanated and all of these things. And like people were so adamant about all these things. And if you didn't care about these things then you were be being called a racist and rightfully so because literally. But I just think it's funny that 2020 happened it was like a flash in the pan and then I didn't really hear about it and mainstreamly at all after that and I never do like I don't expect mainstream to like continue to um follow up on things that have to do with black liberation the environment or other like things that are social justice related right like I heard about things that were going on in Iran Iran and with the women and everything and I heard that for a flash in the pan in the mainstream and I don't really hear it again, right? And so you really have to go to like places that like people have more access to like social media to really find out more information about what's going on, right? 
And so obviously I'm not dumb. I know that the mainstream media is never going to talk about things when they're not being pressured to. Like I feel like George Floyd was this very specific thing where everybody saw the video and it was like if you did not talk about it, you were racist. And so they were not going to they were not going to hurt their bottom line, so they had to talk about it, right? But it's over, so now they don't care. Right? They don't care. And black people are being killed disproportionately still to this day. Hi, the Tyree Nichols video is going to be released out into the public. And so we need to talk about this because there's a lot of nuance that goes into this that a lot of things can be right or wrong at the same time. And we need to talk about it. So, so if you haven't seen what the officers look like, this is what they look like. This is what they look like. If you don't know what happened to Tyree, he was stopped on a traffic violation and the police officer, he stopped him and then Tyree got stopped by other police officers and he got nervous and ran and they came and they tackled him and they beat him to death. They beat him to death. He didn't have a negative bone in his body, like at all. Energetic, outgoing, funny, goofy. Always had a smile on his face. Like, he like he could have gave him the name Cheeseburger. My son, I know everybody say they, mother say they had a good son, everybody's son is good. But my son, he actually was a good boy. My son loved me to death. And I know that was a bad word, but that was that's how he felt. We know what you mean. Yes, ma'am. He you. had my name tattooed on his arm, and that made me proud, because most kids don't put their mom's name. <laughs> but he did. On a Saturday, my son would wake up. He'd go to Shelby Farms, because he liked to skateboard. That was his passion. He's been skating since he was six years old. That day, when he left around three o'clock, going to Shelby Farms to watch the sunset and take pictures. I want Tyree to be remembered. This is a great kid. I want kids and other people to know, ain't nothing wrong with being yourself. Tyree brought something out of me to make me feel like, hey, you don't have to do that. You don't have to follow a trend to be loved. You can be yourself. You can skateboard, you can ice hockey. You can do whatever that you want to do. And people will still love you. All I know is my son was a great, great kid. He didn't deserve what he got. Now what he deserves is justice. Just, yeah. And I just feel like no one, you know, it's not being talked about in that big mainstream way anymore. And I don't really expect it to because literally you guys were not talking about it before 2020. So it's not like you guys are going to start talking about it now. Like, yeah, you talked about the big ones that happened, like Mike Brown and all these other ones. But you weren't really talking about it that heavy because when those protests stopped, you didn't care. And so it's like, whatever. And so, yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest because I was like, it's just interesting how everybody was all up in arms in 2020 about Black Lives Matter and you should care about black people. But then, you know, two seconds after it's over, no one cares. Like, no one cares. Like, there's no, you know, and I'm not saying that no one cares. But I'm just mean, like, you know, the big, like, people who were talking about it back then. No, mm -mm, haven't heard a peep. Have not heard a peep. And so the only real reason that I'm hearing a lot of, like, talk about Cop City is really from social media like always you know what i mean that's how i first heard about what was going on in standing rock because when i first heard about standing rock it was from a facebook post and so i had no idea what standing rock was and then i learned all this information about it and i went to a bunch of protests for it and i went to a bunch of things that had to do with it and i was fighting the good fight and i was going and you know i went to standing rock and i got to see what they were dealing with firsthand and it was a big deal to me and I was really into it but it was because of social media the mainstream media talked about it here and there you had like independent more so you know um leftist or underground um media talking about it too like democracy now and other things and like 
but you didn't really have a lot of mainstream coverage so it was a lot of it was from social media and that is exactly how i found out about stop cop city because i knew about it and heard about it but didn't really know that much about it and so after what happened last week it became big and because people started protesting in atlanta about stop cop city and about the killing um by the police it got ratcheted up and so now a lot more people are talking about it and so because there are people who obviously knew about it firsthand were talking about it whatever but now it's become a little bit more mainstream so a lot more people are talking about it so a lot more information is being brought up about it and it's actually really disturbing like it's really really disturbing like it's really disturbing like it is really giving me steady rock flashbacks because when i first heard about what happened in the encampment in atlanta it really really struck a chord with me to a point where I was in my head like I should book a flight down there I should go support I should go to this encampment I should go down there and I should start living there with them and I should start doing because I think that these movements are so important and I think what these people are doing is so important for not only the environment not only for black people but just in general because it is really terrible what they are doing in Atlanta right now. It's just the worst. Like, it is just trash. Like, it just bothers me in my spirit and my soul. And I just had to talk about it. Also, speaking of Standing Rock, I just wanted to give my condolences to a water protector, a young water protector who was a part of the um, International Indigenous Youth Council who recently passed away. Um, and I just want to give my condolences to her friends and family, and I will put a picture in her name on the screen, but I just wanted to give, I didn't know her, um, but that doesn't mean that I don't have, you know, my condolences to, uh, everybody who did, and, um, just a, that's sad, it's sad that she passed away. She was a bright young light from what I'm hearing, and, um, Everybody who was a part of the International Indigenous Youth Council at Standing Rock are incredible, incredible people. And um, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there before we go any further. But um, yeah, so let's just talk about what even Cop City is. And let's talk about what happened last week to a land defender who was in this encampment who was unfortunately killed by the Atlanta police. I learned that Tortuguita means little turtle, and as somebody who is the turtle girl, that really hurt my spirit. That really hurt my spirit. That really hurt my spirit. Little turtle, like, that hurt. That hurt. Tortuguita Presente, Stop Cop City, Abolish the Police. I'm gonna actually put a video after this so that you guys can get a better feel because that might have been a little jumbled. So, roll the clip. This is Manuel Tehran, also known as Tort, the protester in Atlanta who was shot and killed by police during a confrontation. Police allege protesters shot first, but activists dispute the claim and say an officer was struck by friendly fire. On Twitter, one of the organizations involved in the encampment says, quote, forest defenders on the ground say they heard a round of about 12 shots fired all at once around 9.04 a.m. this morning. This contradicts the back and forth shooting story pushed by police. We have reason to believe the officer shot today was hit by friendly fire and not by the protester who was killed. Activists say this recent raid comes on the heels of months of increasing violence from police. This death dramatically escalated the struggle over the building of Cop City. The Atlanta Police Foundation is building a police militarization facility for police to train in urban warfare known as Cop City. The plans include military-grade training facilities, a mock city to practice urban warfare in, explosive testing areas, dozens of shooting ranges, and a Black Hawk helicopter landing pad. The project will cost $90 million, $60 million in corporate funding, and $30 million in tax dollars. The Atlanta Police Foundation has refused to make the corporate sponsors of the facility public. Activists say the police are blocking public debate and withholding environmental assessment reports. They also say they won't give up on the fight to stop Cop City. The protester who was killed, Tort, was a volunteer medic and mutual aid organizer. They are described by friends as a kind, passionate, and loving person. So, yeah, that really broke my heart, like really broke my heart. And there are a lot of activists who are demanding that the Atlanta police 
that they released the um, body cam footage of them killing Tortuguita. And it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Like, it is absolutely just devastatingly ridiculous. Like, they seem like such an incredible human who just... I don't even have words. Like, I didn't know this person personally, obviously, but just, I know their spirit. I know their spirit. They are the type of people who will do anything to make sure that this world is a better place, to help the people. I know that spirit firsthand because it lives inside of me. And it just, it hurts so much to know that the police killed them. It is so sad. It is so sad. I did see some videos from Vigil and I saw Rory was there. He sung one of Tortuguita's favorite songs. Shout out to the top of your lungs. Oh no, oh no. Oh, he may, they may hear us down from heaven. Oh no, oh no. It breaks my heart it just breaks my heart and this is what I'm talking about okay because this this is something that I actually do a lot of work on in my own community um, I work with the my mom and I, myself we work with the Patuxent Riverkeeper and he is the only black Riverkeeper in the entire country and if you don't know what a Riverkeeper is it is basically a person who fights uh for the rivers so there are water keepers there are river keepers there are stream keepers it's just a whole or network of people who care for the waters and um they usually in his case he's a lawyer so he goes out and he fights like dirty dirty oil companies and like dirty big um ag companies and like you know all these things that are harming the waterways and harming the rivers and you know where the Patuxent River is is in Upper Marlboro, Maryland and it's a majority uh black communities that live on the water and so of course environmental racism is quick to be right there because of nasty oil polluters and nasty other terrible companies that do not care about the well-being of the residents that live there and it's really sad and so i've seen him do a lot of work around that and i've seen firsthand the work that he's done and it's really beautiful work it is really beautiful work and i just really vibe with that you know what i mean and um whenever i go over to the river you know we do things to help out with the patuxent river and the patuxent river keeper because we try to make sure people know who he is. His name is Fred Tutman, and we try to make sure that people know who he is and the work that he is doing because it's really important for all of us, really. Um, but the community in around the Patuxent River, right? And so I completely understand where they're coming from with the Stop Cop City because as somebody who cares very much for Mother Earth, and somebody who is black, this really holds a, a, a special place in my heart. And my, my heart goes out to all the people who are doing their greatest work in helping to stop this. You know, um, it is abolish all police because it is abolish all police. Y'all can say what you want, but if the police were really working for you, then they wouldn't be killing you majority of police are corrupt and let's be honest there's so much money going into helping to fund police who are going to be killing us than there is for actually police reform that what is the point what is the point we're going to keep being and a lot of police killings don't even get put into the news at all like ever only when we start to loot and riot like they want to talk about all the time is it ever talked about but Let's be honest, because a lot of 
police killings are done in the dark are done in the dark and nobody's talking about them ever and so for me it's like just get rid of the whole lot because you guys are not doing anything to help anybody you're not you're not you're not and you guys can say that they're good police and all these things but like let's be honest okay let's just be honest with ourselves because those good police should be calling out the people and the police people who are doing the wrong and a lot of times they're not and if they are that's beautiful and great but a lot of times they're not so don't come on this video talking about you know the police don't need to be abolished because don't even play with me okay because Tortuguita should still be alive right now right now they should still be alive and it is just messed up that people who are fighting to protect the earth something that we all live on something that we all have to pay attention to and take care of because if we don't then we as a, a human species are going to die out and I know I keep bringing this up and it's my best example of what's going to happen to us if we do not take care of these mother earth even though she could take care of herself I mean for us humans is Wally and I know I bring that up a lot I know it's a Disney movie and whatever but it is probably the best example of what's going to happen to us if we do not pay the freak attention I am so sick and tired of people just being able to kill people who are taking care of something that is so important and so sacred as trees, as a forest, as Mother Earth. It is just despicable and disgusting. And I am sick and tired of having to watch good natured humans who are taking care of the earth and people of color and black people and all these things, indigenous people and all these things being killed it is just despicable and it hurts my heart oh my gosh it hurts my heart so bad like i could not sleep for the last few days after i heard about this story it's like when i hear things about this it really hurts my heart it really hurts my heart because it's like you know they should not have to die they should not have to die for protecting the earth they should not have to die for protecting black people from the racist ignorant police and it's the fact that Keisha Lance Bottom decided that this was okay that her people were expense to the police shows just how much she cares about the community and it's also the fact that I have not heard one not one black or otherwise Atlanta celebrity talk about this going on Rory is probably the most he's been talking about it a lot but otherwise I have not seen these really big celebrities who always want to talk about how oh Atlanta's Wakanda oh Atlanta's this mecca of like art and culture all these things blah 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 but you don't talk about things going on in your own backyard you don't care because it does not have to do with your little important people who can make you money you don't care about these things and it's sad that you guys are not talking about these things more when you're supposed to be these big Atlanta artists but you don't care and it just makes me so mad it makes me so mad and I'm just like no one no one cares no one cares because celebrities are more important than what's going on on the ground with people who are actually try to defend the earth and defend black people so that we do not have to die but that's not important to y'all because celebrities are more important to everybody and it's just sad it is just sad and people's bottom dollars are more important than everything else and it's just sad and ignorant and it disappoints me and I'm just, I can't even, I can't even. <sighs> Rest in power to Tortuguita. I'm sending all of my energy to the people who are out there fighting against Cop City. And my heart is going out to everybody all over Mother Earth who are fighting a similar situation. You do not deserve to die fighting for this planet, fighting for your people, fighting for justice. And it saddens me that you are. 
And so I'm sending all of my love to all of the water, land, people defenders because you deserve it. And I love you. And the work you're doing is incredible. And yeah, I just, I could rant about this for the rest of my life. It's just, it hurts my heart so much. And I'm just, I'm really sad. And I just, I don't know. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to talk about this. I really wanted to get this out there. Y'all deserve to know about this. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this really hurt. This really hurt. So um, I'm going to leave more information about Cop City, like Stop Cop City in the description. I'm going to leave um, Tortuguita's GoFundMe and like more information about how you can support this movement. And yeah, please go support this movement. Please go find out how you can help. Please go find a situation that is happening in your own area and go help them because they deserve it because they need your help and um yeah no one deserves to die fighting for the land fighting for the water fighting for the people no one <sighs> r.i.p rest in power to everybody affected r.i.p rest in power to those who have lost their lives due to this so sad just so sad well until the next time peace and blessings continue to fight the good fight my heart is with you all